Hello, and how are you doing today? Again, this is the fourth installment of Now That You're a Graduate, all right? If you've been following up from the first installment, you know we talked about survival skills, we talked about networking, and the third one we talked about personal and professional development, and this time we're going to be talking about money, your finances at this level, all right? Like I said, I'm not a financial expert, but I'll share with you what I've learned about finances that can help you, especially at this stage, all right? Yeah, everybody will make their mistakes at one time or the other, but there's no need to repeat in the mistakes of others all right it's, it could be painful to learn that way all right so let's start with the first thing all right money is important because you're gonna you're looking for a job or starting a business or you're doing something you're gonna make money you have to make ends meet so that you're being independent and be able to take care of the bills and build your dreams and support those things you want to support or people you want to support all right money is very important of course it's not everything but it's very important so the first thing is make money how do you make money Either you work and they pay salary, or you do business and, and, and they pay you maybe for your for the value you offer. The summary is provide value. Do valuable things. So this now matters the kind of skills you're learning as well, in addition to your degree, all right? Learn skills that are highly rewardable. Learn skills that are highly rewardable, all right? And be creative about them, all right? I talked about uh, personal development um, earlier on in the video before this, all right? So you can you can invest those kind of, in those kind of things so that there's more you have to offer. If you're getting a job, okay, you know, go for the best jobs, you know, apply for the best job. Don't be scared to apply for any job, but don't be scared. Go for it. What's the worst that can happen? No. But remember, some jobs don't come because of, you applied well. Some of them just come out of recommendation. Somebody recommended you. That's why it's important. You build your networking skills and get yourself in the right places at the right time. All right? So, so money is important. Then as you begin to make money, when, let, let's start with when you don't have uh, much money, a little money that you have, all right? One of the things you do is to develop habits good financial habits sometimes maybe you don't have enough money you may have to borrow from your friend maybe to pay transport for the week when they pay you you pay the person back one of the things about money is credibility whenever you borrow money pay back pay back the biggest boys in the world the billionaires in the world still borrow money but they borrow from banks but why do banks keep giving, keep giving to them because they pay back to the bank know that this guy is a good creditor he's a good he's a good debtor and they use the money for business and make profit and they're able to pay the bank. So you may not be, be able to borrow from bank here to fund your dreams and all that. But the people that help you along the way in the name of borrow, pay back. In fact, I dare tell you, if you borrow from somebody and you're unable to pay, but you said, okay, I'll pay back in a week. And by the fifth day, you know that you may not be able to meet up by the seventh day. Go and tell the person, oh, something, something happened. I may not be able to meet up and all that, but I will do my best. You can either do that to seek for an extension or you can even go and borrow from another person and pay that guy. Let it build integrity with that guy and gain maybe another one um, one week or two weeks with this other person. It's debt management. All right, let me not get too advanced in it like that because you're building credibility and, you know, you're pushing to be able to pay back. But pay back. Don't don't pray that they forget. Don't pray that it's my guy who forget. No. No, 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 no. You are losing credibility. And if they, if they harass you for their money, don't think they're evil people. No, you promise you'll pay back before. Why are you not paying back? All right? All right. So don't let them be the one to sacrifice every time for me. You too. Or, or like pay back your debt. And you begin to build you know, credit, um, uh, your credit worthiness from there. All right? Then also, practice savings. All right? No matter how small. Saving will make you rich, definitely. But it will instill in you a discipline around money. So what are you doing? You're training yourself to have money and not use it. To delay immediate gratification, you can save towards something. You can say, okay, no, I want to save a million naira. I want to save a million naira this year. I want to save two million naira this year. So because of that, I won't do this, do this, do this, do this. I will save it so that I, my body will know that, okay, I can have money and not spend it. it. I mustn't spend any money I have, all the money I have. It's a discipline. Because if you're able to put money together, you can build a capital base for a dream that you want to fund, or at least a down payment for something you want to do, or something you have in hand. Like somebody wants to help you and they say, okay, how much do you have? You said, I have this amount. It's easier for somebody to help somebody that is already trying to help himself than somebody that doesn't even want to help himself at all. All right? So that's why you save. All right? It's a discipline. It will help you in the long haul. All right? So I've talked about debt, borrowing. Then also, sometimes, because of the part of the world we come, in, um, come from in Africa, if you seem to be doing well, like that, even the small money everybody wants to collect from you and all that. It's nice and everything, but you're not for that Christmas. You're not God. You're not else shall die. So you have to balance it. The one you can do, do. The one you cannot do, leave it for now. Because if everybody falls, who will pick each, each other up? So you have to leave some. It will pay you and everything, but you have to learn it. You have to learn it because sometimes there's some kindness you even do that is toxic kindness. Some people will like, they, they, they won't want to help themselves, but they're depending on you because they think you have it all sorted out. No. So that sometimes you will get comfortable saying, no, I don't have, or no, I don't have that for now. No, I cannot do it. Yeah, with your heart paying you, it will pay you small because you've been used to giving everything, everything, everything before you have to pay, but you will learn it. Why? You're building something because if you 
you build and you get better, you are able to help more people. But if you keep, you know, losing everything, every point, you say, and oh, God, they bless and all those stuff. Yeah, God bless it. But God also taught us how to save. Taught, in the Holy Books, he talked about saving. All right. So, so if, you, if, you, if you're talking about saving, so why, why must you give everything away? You get it, and sometimes you need to have emergency funds. Emergency funds are not just for negative things. A positive, a positive opportunity can come out, and if you have that fund, you can assess the, you can assess those opportunity because you had some money kept aside. But if you don't have those funds, many opportunities will just pass you by, pass you by, pass you by. Not that you didn't have the money, but you couldn't accumulate the money. All right, so you learn that as well. All right, then if you if you if you if, you, if you're in a job or a business and you have some time for yourself, find what you can do with that time. You may be working somewhere from nine to five, or you can be working for yourself from six to eight or six to nine. You can create something to add to your streams of income. Remember, at this level, you may not be making so much yet. In fact, because you don't know many things, many things is is is, is, is where you are working that you haven't learned them. So indirectly, they haven't paying you to learn. <laughs> all right they won't pay you to learn so keep your job well do well and keep growing of course know your state know your level and keep adding value and improving yourself so they can command more more most maybe a higher salary or higher profit in the business that you're doing or a higher margin investments you're doing all right so so keep developing that way but don't be in a hurry to impress people don't be in a hurry to ah since i finished school now i've not booked i've not my friends are doing this my friends are, don't don't be in a hurry look this game eh this money game is not a game that ends so it's an infinite game so you keep playing there the person that loses is the person that quits so play at your pace it doesn't mean you should just be laid back no challenge yourself but do not compare yourself to people if anything you can be inspired if they are doing legit things ask questions learn from them but do not put yourself under unnecessary pressure to impress or show who we'll always forget imagine think back at maybe your primary school or secondary school the people that impressed the class the most when last did you think about them it's gone like that and remember, the next when you start doing well or start living maybe more flashy life, that is what people will identify with. All right, so don't be in a hurry to impress one thing or the other. Like build yourself, build your financial strength, build your financial stamina, build your financial education. Very, very important. If you learn this, even if you lose everything, you can build it back because you have an education, a financial education, not just degree education. All right, I'm taking time to build this because it's very important. A lot of people lose it here, and also, um, very importantly, also sometimes you may just have some money that come to you beyond what. You're offered, we call it glut. Some money that just comes to you, maybe you're expecting something. Somebody dash 500k, somebody dash you. You went for one excursion, they paid you this one allowance came, but you are not expecting it. That doesn't mean you should blow up all the money. The same way that kind of money came that you're not expecting, that's the same way sometimes some wahala some wahalas come that you're not expecting <laughs> and drain all what you have. All right, so this one that came that you're not expecting, save it, keep it somewhere, okay, flex yourself, but keep some around. It doesn't mean that uh, I'm not playing for wahala, I don't, I'm not confessing wahala. Hey, Nobody pray for problem, but as long as we are in this earth, we are praying for long life. We are doing happy birthday every year. We will have problems. Why? Well, this earth is imperfect. The imperfect system, so there must be wahala. So it's better you prepare. I know that wahala is coming. Then there are small wahala, big wahala, middle sized wahala. They will come. It's not that I want to leave. <laughs> it will come. All right. But you don't have to be afraid. You can be prepared. Will you overcome all of them at the same time? No. But when you prepare like this, it helps reduce the effect of the of, of the impact on you. All right. So like I said, just we have sudden wahala. You can have sudden abundance. Save. Plan ahead, all right? Then this one, very important, avoid Ponzi schemes. Hey, avoid those investments that are promising you they'll be giving you 20% of what you put in every month. If the investment is so lucrative, Nigeria would have put... Is Nigeria not looking for money? Uh, is Dan not looking for money? If that is so legit, they would have put their own money down, Do you know what 20% is in a month? Which country does that? <laughs> The only place you can get kind of returns is returns on yourself, and it's not them. It's going to be eternal like that. But they, some people they promise them fifty percent every month. They bring two people, bring this, bring this, bring this. It's a Ponzi. And guess what? They'll stage you, pay you one month, pay you two months, pay you three months. By the fourth month, they say server is down. They are upgrading server. They've given you sign up. By fifth month, like that, they say they are paying those in Lagos. They are not paying those in Abuja like that. By sixth month, phew, they're gone. And you'll be wishing and hoping and all those things like that, but it's gone. Why people have lost millions and billions to the same scam. So do not fall for it. Some people say, some people may say ah, me, I get lucky. I'd always get luck like that. The day you will get unlucky, you'll be amazed. It will wound you and enjoy your finances. And one thing these kind of things take from me, they take away your creative ability. Because you're looking for cheap money. You're looking for easy money. So even things that you know how to do very well, you don't want to improve because you're looking for those kind of easy money and you keep being a victim. It's like it's like gambling. You always think the next one works. You always think the next one will work. And sometimes you gamble yourself away. Sometimes when you have the money, because you like financial education and everything, you'll be in a hurry to spend your way back to poverty. All right? So avoid Ponzi schemes. Some people have ruined beautiful relationships, beautiful friendships because of Ponzi scheme. Some they drag their friends out. Some they want to carry meeting money. Some carry church money. Some carry their savings and put inside Ponzi. And that was when it crashed. 
So they couldn't own up to their responsibility. Some ran away and put this on the line. Some even left the country. They said, like, don't do that. Avoid Ponzi schemes. You, you are way smarter than that. <laughs> if somebody that is smarting you with all that, so don't, 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 don't invest in Ponzi scheme. Study investment very well. In fact, your earliest money, use them to study how investments work before you start investing. Or, except you are riding on the shoulder of somebody that is more experienced than you, that the person is allowing you leverage his knowledge and all that. Don't be in a hurry to make this kind of money. I will not the porch pass, all right? So, so, and finally, before I end this part, some people always talk about follow your passion and all that. I'm a strong supporter of following your passion and all that, all right? But now, find a way to create value out of your passion, a value that is rewardable, all right? So, in that, your, in that your passion, no matter what it is, be creative about it. Create value that somebody can pay for because that's the way you can hack it. Because if you are, if you are passionate about something and you can create value that's pay, that somebody can pay for to reward that your passion, you go hungry inside this passion. Passion with Anger and no money can be very frustrating. All right. So balance your passion with value. So learn, take courses on how to create value. Learn how to create value from your passion. You can create value from almost anything, but you have to learn it. The skill is an art. It may not come with your passion, but you have to learn it and add it to your passion so that people can, you know, be able to pay you for that thing you are creating that is in line with your passion. And with that, you can be very all right. There's some part of passion that is boring. When you start managing finances, managing people, managing other, it could be boring. Like that, that's why I say learn these skills so that you know how to manage them. Learn how to market yourself. Learn how to create offers. Learn how to write uh, leads. What am I writing here? Okay, yeah. So in, in, um, learn human psychology, how people think. Learn human psychology because in this way, you're able to relate to your people and know how to, you know, create these offers. Let me give you a typical example. Like, let's say football. A lot of footballers are passionate. But have you heard footballers say, okay, um, they're, they're, they're not going to take salary for five years because they're so passionate about it, they want to play, but just give them a chance to play football. No, if you don't pay them salary, they will sue you, they will leave. They're passionate, but they're highly rewarded because the football community created ways for them to be rewarded highly by viewing and all those stuff like that. There are some that are artists. They write, some have YouTube channels, some have things that are passionate about, but they've created value, either entertainment or educative, uh, educative value, or informative value, or whatever value you want to uh, create around your passion, like that, you can learn how to create it you may have to take courses you may have to get coaches that will teach you how to do this do them you can always create value from it and be highly rewarded in what if, if you want to push your passion but if you don't know your passion like that keep trying things man there no there's no one single passion like one destiny and other stuff i don't believe in most of those things it's stayed right from one phase you could be doing well in another phase you may reinvent yourself and be somebody else and you know or explore another side of you you can always do that so don't get stuck that i'm looking for my purpose and five years you've not done anything because you're looking for your purpose find something good and start doing and start from there inside it you may find other things that are higher callings for you like that but don't stay back lazy and all that so whether you're pursuing your passion or not find something that is rewardable how to create value through it and know how to capture your reward all right so i don't talk so much about finances in most of those regards it's just these tip points that help you and one other area protect your money learn how to protect your money that's where that ponzi scheme comes in all right because if not you go and give your money to ponzi and you'll be scammed also learn basic finance protect your money do not give your card details out do not take phone calls from strangers asking you to give you bvn and all that like that don't do all those kind of things if you have issues go to your bank if you suspect anything funny quickly go to your bank protect your account details protect your personal details protect your private details and all that all right do not give somebody don't trust your atm if you are going to pos make sure you're watching everything that's happening they're not clone your cards you know, things like that. Always keep yourself abreast. When your bank sends you those kind of messages, don't delete them that this one is not a large and already read. Learn them because it could save you a lot. So imagine you don't know some of these things. You are making money and you are losing the money to fraud. Or you're making money, you are losing it to negligence or ignorance. That's sad. All right. So balance it like that. You may not know all the same day, but you keep building precept upon precept, brick upon brick. And if you combine these things together, not only will you learn how to make better money, you learn how to keep money, you learn how to multiply money, and you also learn how to create more value and better value as you grow. Imagine you're going, you've gone through this whole video, survival skills, networking, personal development. Now you're learning how to manage money. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know, you know go too bad for you now. You will make it. You, that your dream will come true. All right? All right, so so that's it for the, your finances. Like I said, I'm not a financial expert. I just shared some things that I've seen that are of, that have been of value to me and people that I've shared them with. All right, you can take more financial courses, join more financial communities, so you can keep learning. It's an ongoing thing. You don't stop learning about finances. It's an ongoing thing. All right, and I hope you got value from this. Share it. Let other people see it. Take your notes. Make your decisions. Take your action points and be able to use them. All right. And after this, I'll see you in the uh, next installment at the installment five of now that you're a graduate. See you next.